game team fight right here. When you're looking at this with Kiana, Zaya, the Jarvan, as well as the Rumble, all of these champions spike pretty well on one item. You know, Straight S onto the ocean here. Happy laning phase. They pick this one up. Yeah, it's going to be feeling really good for them. 630 into the game for damage. And likewise for Showmaker, you can really start to ignore most of what this Camille can put out. Beryl may be overstepped as the fight continues. There's the Solar Flare coming in, but the quickness is going to follow as well. The Equalizer comes down, knocked back into the wall. First blood to Rainbow, but down one are not done with the fight yet. Beryl on the front line, the Feather Storm coming out. Nugri forced back, but here oh! comes Showmaker. The dive in from Nuclear. That's two quick kills for Dan One Gaming. Rainbow trying to get out, but he is shut down by Showmaker. The dive continues underneath the tower. Alex will fall. Nogari just able to survive for the moment. Gets the shield. Looking for the damage here onto Zip, but in the end, Zip will take turret plate with the farm. And he is an enormous lead now. Buddy again. Gonna look for the mountain. Drake is secure. Down one gaming, fighting off towards the top side. AHQ trying to make a, a battle happen, but Alex has already fallen. Nuclear trying to get underneath this tower here. Bevel will be shut down. And Gunblade, you know, these items are, are just not necessarily gonna get the same value, but what HQ does have is an incredible amount of playmaking, right? When you have this Rumble Kiana on top of some really powerful engage here from the Rakan and the Jarvan, you can make things happen if Damwon makes a mistake. Oh, Showmaker, thank you for all the tower shots here. The supreme display of talent won't hit, but the Flame Spitter finds its mark. That's a shutdown going over to Ziv from just aggressive play from the Akali. We call that an unforced error. In tennis and League of Legends, had no need to go and poke while the turret was still alive. The Shroud doesn't interact like it did before. Nobody will get. Want to contest this? Well, you've got to contest at some point. They're looking for the fight. Equalizer is available. Quickness as well, but the Cloud Drake has already fallen. Down on gaming, able to back off for the moment. Bell still standing on the front line. Will just retreat to join his team. AHQ unable to find any connections in the fight, and Rainbow chucks out a Q. Won't find his man. You just see how balanced the Kiana looks when River Access has always been second. Quickness as pops straight away, and Canyon goes down. The ultimate in the jungle. The turret, perhaps, is Damon Gaming back on the Baron. Forcing it once again, Yasera there. Could face check. Canyon's going to chuck out a Q, but the tower falls in the bottom lane. Nuguri has his teleports backing to to the fountain for the moment, but that, that balance just going down. I mean, this is actually so clever. Canyon just kept showing, and I think the AHQ was, was under the impression that if Canyon is there, they're not on the Baron, and they just two-man Such that. an incredibly strong position. We have Showmaker unanswered in the top. You're going for an Ocean Dragon, but you're losing your Tier 2 top lane, and with the Baron buff to actually empower these solo leaners who are already massively ahead of their counterparts, it becomes very it difficult did. and are never going to fight you because you're not making them. Very difficult to catch down one out though. They continue to clear vision as they push through the jungle. They continue to put down their own control wards. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's not an easy engage to make, but when a 5% chance of an engage is better than your chances in this game, you got to pull the trigger. Waco not in the best of shape. The Feather Storm comes out, but the tower will fall. You know, you hate to see a team kind of bleeding oh. it out like this. And look at the damage that Nuclear is putting in. This is a chance as the Cataclysm comes down. Teleport used by Damwon. Nuclear's almost fallen. The battle goes in as well. The shutdown already coming out. The Supreme Display of Talon will knock them back. Showmaker coming in from the side. Nuggie's there as well. And Damwon Gaming now on the front foot. Stepping forward, diving under the inhibitor towers. Damwon take down two. They're looking for a bit more as Canyon hits the queue. One more. Yes, Sarah just about survives as his legion of fans keep him alive. But Waco up towards the top side will fall. Yes, Sarah goes down. Oh. Well. And Damwon only lose one man. They are not quite emoting, but they know they've done what they needed to. They'll take down the inhibitor turret here. They've broken the base, and they seem to have broken the hearts of AHQ. Really nothing Rainbow can do to defend. Nuclear dived into the back line, and still they could only take down one. Damn one gaming now on the Nexus turrets, next on the Nexus, and they will claim their first win of Worlds Groups. They have checked the boxes. They're going to look for a couple more kills before they close this one out. But certainly a strong showing here, a good